Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. It's a fight, ladies and gentlemen. We got us a fight on our hands. A big one. Endeavor versus New Nomu. It, it looked like it had Kurogiri, like a, like a kind of like Kurogiri, and someone else was mixed in with it too. It was weird. I'm curious to see what this new Nomu is capable of, and I'm also wanting to see how Endeavor is able to take on uh, like a full-strength Nomu. Because if it's like the one that took on All Might, he's going to have his hands full, because that one pushed All Might to the limit, and even though All Might was a bit weaker than he was in his prime, still, though, that's, that's, that's dangerous. But this is the finale of Season 4, finally... Holy hell, I can't believe we're finally caught up. It's taken us this long to get here. Multiple attempts, by the way, to get here, and now we're here. And good lord, I am so happy. I'm so friggin' happy that we're finally here. So, let's get this up on screen. Let's just get into it. This is My Hero Academia, Season 4, Episode 25, The Finale. Here we go. I'm happy to see a smile on your face. Any special reason? <laughs> well, Shoto has been sending me letters. By the way... You see? He's officially number one now. Natsu! The world doesn't know what he did to you or to us. How terribly he treated his family. There you go. Not, he wants to leave the past behind and forget about his family. I don't think that's true. See those flowers? He knows they're my favorite. I only mentioned it once when we just met. Wait, Dad's been here? Many times, apparently. He is thinking about us. He's definitely trying to face his past and his family. If he was anybody but a cartoon character, I wouldn't give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Hey, Endeavor, I didn't know you could fly. I'm just not falling. <laughs> Stay alert. Kill me with poor plastic. Damn. And your Ozzy did that much damage to him with that punch. He's regenerating. Show me strength. In that case, I'll take it alive for interrogation. Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Damn. That's not good. Stop him, number one. Oh damn! damn. How is this thing faster and stronger than me? A building. Oh no! You gotta be kidding me! Sense them fierce wings, screams, breaths, rustling clothes, every human movement. Quirk, fierce wings. He has tough yet supple feathers. Each and every one of them is under his control. Damn. That's awesome. That's pretty crazy. That is an awesome power. Fresh fire fist. Chaos fire! To slice it oh! Oh! Holy Damn. Damn. I'm guessing you don't spend a whole lot of time in the kitchen. Your food's supposed to be chopped into uniform pieces. No run away. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, he spawned another Nomu. Sorry, say where's shit? That's disgusting. Gross. Oh, damn. Using pause to keep my backup occupied. Arch, thank you. Get him out of there. Let's get you somewhere safe. Although, to be frank, and he can use his feathers and swords. Dude, he's a badass. Overheating has always been a problem. The reason for my actions. <laughs> Damn. I guess this is like a supernova form. Jesus. Oh crap. Not in this moment. Oh. Not enough. It tore off its head. 
You threw it out of range? That's pretty metal. Uh oh. Oh no. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, oh shit. Oh no. Endeavor. Oh, he's not done. I think it's terrifying. He needs to stand down and wait for reinforcements. He can't, because there aren't any. You know better than anyone. You can't repeat what All Might did. Quit and get out of here! Natsu, huh? I know you don't want to hear this. And maybe you can't accept the truth right now, but... Our father never gives up. He's probably the most stubborn man in the world. Over there. If I'm Endeavor, I'm doing everything I can to get him out of the city. Because... Out from fairy tale. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it. Sounds like. Wait a second. His name is the, the kid. You know the guys in the guy in fire or fairy tale's name is Natsu. Endeavor's eldest son is named Natsu. Now this guy with pink hair and the scarf is yelling about fire and like not getting. <laughs> God dang it! You shown in anime <laughs> bastards. Huh. He may not be a symbol of peace, but he can be a symbol for justice. You are the same as me. I'm nothing like you. And just propelling myself forward. But the sea is my court. I'm thankful for the pain. It's keeping me conscious. Even higher! You showed your hand earlier. Your head is what I need to destroy to end you. Just grab onto his head and incinerate him. The suicide run. Give him a helping hand there, Birdman. This is what it has to be now. Speed and power are both working together. Collaboration and cooperation. Other person who seriously attempted to surpass him. Oh! I sent a few of my feathers your way earlier. Oh, cool! Oh, he, he's helping him. That's oh. awesome! <laughs> Turned into a phoenix. Moltres. It's like the Moltres attack. Dude! It's acting like some kind of wild animal now. Seriously? Its regeneration is still keeping up. He doesn't have enough firepower. Hawks, no! Listen to me, no Even as he suffers, his struggles, he's fighting. Come on. I'm watching you. Sorry, my feathers are toast. Higher. No. Into the sky. I won't have to worry about collateral damage. He's gonna turn everything loose. Just. Good. From the past, for another future. Burn up. Be at rest. Blood Plus Ultra! I'll go Blood Ultra! Prominence!
Was it enough? I mean, I'm pretty sure he got the head. Yes! <laughs> you know, Mike's like, holy hell! <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's he, he's praying for him, man. He's praying for his pops. Heroes cannot stop moving forward. We must keep fighting. We are the ones who must carry his symbol now. Damn. That was pretty darn cool. Well, oh, is that all for one? I think so. You're the ninth. Huh? What? Fuck. So those were all the ones that had one for all before him? I think so. Sort yeah, of like the one Avatar next to him was uh, All Might's... Uh... Nana? Nana Shimura? Yeah, yeah. Uh, All Might's uh, instructor. Mm -hmm. the, previous, the previous holder of uh, one, uh, All for One, or One for All. Um, the... That was a hell of a season finale, for sure. Yeah. You ain't kidding. I mean, Endeavor stepping... Like, that's one thing about, like persevering through like every like i know sports is a weird thing to tie into this but you know there's people who are lauded as like great athletes you know they have great potential and all that but then there are the moments where those athletes step up step up and they become like effectively legends in their field for instance like uh, ray lewis you know one of my favorite linebackers ever you know he had a horrible past like he was involved in a murder case, he was poten he was potentially facing twenty years in jail, and thankfully, you know, they found enough evidence to pretty much get him out of the conviction. But that hung over his head for so long, and people said, "Oh, he's got great talent, he's got great ability, but you know, his attitude and his uh, his uh, drive and his um, leadership skills are terror. You know, will never lead him to a championship." And then a few years and then a few years into his career, he gets he gets in the right mindset, works his ass to the bone, and becomes like the defensive player of the year and leads his team to the Super Bowl and effectively just like commands like one of the best defenses ever as like only his third or fourth year in. And from that, everyone revered him as like the best in the NFL, the best by far. And, you know, he, he played a full career and then there was, people were waiting for who would pick up the slack after and who would be like the next Ray Lewis or the next Patrick Willis or Mike Singletary, you know, any of those. And then there was Luke Keekley. Luke Keekley was, a lot of people considered him the next one. Uh, one defensive player of the year, his second year in. He won rookie of the year his first year in. And he was an all-star every season he played. But then, at the age of 29, he retired because of because of injuries. And effectively, that's the same situation we have here with All Might. It's like you like retirement, and then who's going to step up and fill those shoes? The struggle has to be done, and like it's like nature abhors a vacuum. Their vacuum, whether it's on one side of the fence or the other, you know, whether it's in the criminal element or in the heroic element, nature abhors a vacuum, and it always finds a way to fill that in, whether it's with one hero, multiple heroes, or one villain or multiple villains. I mean, effectively, that's what we have here. And I I think Endeavor, with this struggle, showed that he is capable of holding up uh, for the next generation to come through. He may have injured himself really bad, you know, his hand, plus, don't know if he lost his eye. I think it's just like an above eye injury. And, mm. like, the blood was coming down and, like, uh, like getting in his eye, he couldn't open it. He's going to have a scar there now and go back to Todoroki and be like, hey, look, we match. <laughs> oh, 
damn. I mean, I could see kind of some symbolism there. Like, it kind of makes him sort of realize what he put him through, you know? Yeah. And... I mean, it's kind of cool to see him cut loose and see what he can actually do, because we always knew he was the number two hero. And, like, we saw him in, like, Kamino, where he could do some cool stuff, but he was obviously holding back because he was surrounded by people and buildings. But, like... Here? When it was like, holy crap, the top of this building is going to fall and crush all these people. No, it's not. Just going to, like, you know, <laughs> chop it up, you know, into little pieces. I mean, that's... Throw out that's a little pretty spider intense. web of, of, like, of, like... Of fire and just cut everything. I mean, even though it. even though he's a jerk, I mean, he's got a lot of situational awareness. I mean, he knows what like needs said, to be done and how to do it. Like we said before, it's like even though he is a jerk, like and has done some shitty stuff, like as a hero, he's pretty damn cool. Oh, yeah. Honestly, oh yeah. Well, you got to think his it's powers like, are cool, and his just watching him do stuff is pretty cool. You know, Hawks gave credit where it was due. Where it was like All Might was so good, no one even tried to match him. He was the only one that did. He was totally insane. But he actually made an effort to try and match him, mm -hmm. you know. And I well, mean, if if he hadn't been there, all those people would be dead. Yes, uh, but you also have to think about this. I mean, uh, through his efforts, I, I, that's one thing Hawks is unaware of. You know, through his efforts of trying to reach All Might, he pushed away his family, pushed away all the people he loved, and became obsessed mm -hmm. yeah. with being number one. And it's like he's saved a whole lot of people and done a whole lot of good. You just have to kind of think about it from like, at what point do you like do enough good to make up for like the shitty things that you did? To well, he he still could have done that good without you know destroying his family's lives, basically. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is the one thing I've heard like a logical reasoning for that is they are willing like like. It's no justification for why people do the, what they do, like family abandonment and all that. But they say if one is to suffer, they will put all the suffering upon themselves in order to make that a reality. And but in truth, the logical loop is you know in order you know like what sacrifices do I have to make in order to be the better hero? Okay, no sleep. Okay, I can do that. I can go without sleep for uh, X amount of time. Okay, what about here? Oh. I, I have to become more lethal, okay? So I can, you know, be more dangerous if I have to be. Okay, what about this? Okay, I won't be able to spend time with my family, okay? It's like, okay, what about the wife? No, I can't spend any time with her either. Yeah, it's like the little sacrifices that you make start to pile up, and eventually you're, you've sacrificed literally everything in your personal life. And now you're just obsessed with uh, this pretty much unobtainable goal. Yeah, I think honestly they are a good team though because Hawks, I feel like is actually what he needs. Mm -hmm. Because I I don't think that Endeavor is capable of the perspective that Hawks has, so I think they would actually benefit each other. Even though Hawks is just like grates on his every last nerve, and honestly that's a pretty cool combo move where he can like basically give him wings to like add speed and maneuverability to him, dude, even Hawks if it's is, only for a little bit. Yeah, dude, like he he's my new favorite hero honestly like when he gave the speech i was like i don't know about that like i don't like his speech he gave on stage but like everything else he did made me like him more and more yeah. until i got like well, I, you you know, when he's using his feathers and swords i'm just like this guy's badass. why his approval rating is like <laughs> yeah you know. he's awesome well he's he's probably my favorite new hero by far because yeah when you see what he does and you see what he uh, his compassion for wanting to not only save people but also try and help fellow heroes uh, it, it's it, it's inspiring and you see he de he's unconventional about it you know like his speech it, if if anything that speech is like a perfect portrayal of who he is personally like lackadaisical you know lack of approach but whenever it comes to like his personal interaction with people he doesn't have that that paralyzing fear that some people mm -hmm. have, uh, or or have that uh, that short fuse like uh, like Bakugo has. Bakugo, whenever people are paying attention to him, he gets irritated. Uh, when when people are paying attention to uh, to Deku, Deku always gets nervous. Whenever people are paying attention to Todoroki, Todoroki is usually able to handle it a little bit better. Yeah, he he has a more presentable like uh, personality than than the other two, and I would say Todoroki 
effectively, if he works under Endeavor, but also works with uh, Hawks as well, I think that that could be so beneficial because he would be around a, a, a hero who is super approachable, but yet at the same time have the power and the ability of that his father bestowed onto him, plus the ice ability, which will prevent him from overheating. Yeah, could, could you imagine if they did work it out and Todoroki trained with his father? To where he had no limits, so he could just, you know, unleash solar prominences whenever he wanted to because he couldn't overheat. I mean, that would be pretty wild. Yeah. Well, there's multiple things. Uh, like, I would have him work with Endeavor. Well, he's worked with Endeavor for a long time, but he's refused. But for the longest time, he also refused to use his firepower. Yeah. But then after fighting Deku, he realized, okay, this power is mine. It's not my father's. It's mine. I need to make it my own. Or, I mean, even, like, seeing seeing what his... Or, I'm pretty sure he knew what his dad could do, but also Bakugo's been training to, like, focus his stuff. So, Todoroki mm -hmm. could easily train with him and kind of learn how to harness the same power, I think. Yeah, I think that, too. And also, uh, he's pretty good at controlling his ice abilities. He's good at making, like, big, boisterous mm -hmm. things, like the slides and... And, like, ice sculptures and well, shit like that. Well, the stuff that. like that, he said that he doesn't have fine control over it, so he yes. used the stuff that they made for, to form the slides. Yeah, and, so. and you see, I think effectively if he learns to control both of them, he could effectively effectively make uh, a cannon like of, of ice and a cannon of fire, and he'd be dexterous and be able to pretty much take on almost any enemy. And plus, what happens with ice... Whenever you whenever you melt it with fire, it I mean he steam. he's able to dissolve it. He's able to dissolve it, but he can also create water effectively. Mm -hmm. He can just make like a big thing of ice and then melt it with the fire, just the fire. He doesn't like dissolve it with his power, and effect he can create water as well. That's which is always going to be a necessity. I mean. I feel like Todoroki, like, he could just get some, like, infrared goggles or something and just fill everything with steam so nobody can see but him, I mean. Yes, he could do that, too. You know. that Well, there's multiple ways he could use his perk to, uh, for multiple things, like, espionage, for instance, freezing his enemies and then, like, pulling them, and then, like, pulling them back and, like, hiding them. Pretty much going solid snake, it's like, this is Todoroki. It's like, sheer cold. And then, uh, and then move on like that. But he also has the ability to just like he could have the ability if he learns from his father to just be a be pretty much a battle tank because he's got the ice ability and the fire ability, and he can answer with both in kind. And then, of course, there's the wind hero that uh, goes to the uh, other school. Sh Shiketsu Yo yes. Yorashi. Yes. And I think with them, with him... They could combine their powers yes. in a lot of ways if they could, you know, work together. Oh, yes. B big time. I, I, th think... I, think that, I think this may be a hint at what the future is going to be like. Instead of trying to surpass All Might, people are going to have to learn to work together and they're going to form, you know, better teams or more complementary teams. Yes. I, I think that too. Because I feel like teamwork is one of the major themes of this show, so... Well, I think that's a point of humanity. I mean... That's one thing I... That's why we have society where it's at right now. We have the things that we do and why capitalism has worked so well is because teamwork has effectively formed and shaped society into what it is. However, what often comes with that is, as CGP Grey put it, you know, burning the totems in effigy and, like, forming sides. That's... If you can eliminate that from the, from the whole uh, equation and just have it to where... People could compete with each other on a more like on a, a beneficial level to where it's like oh they're up here we need to get up here and there's teams like oh they're up here they're here up here now we have to get up here and they just keep improving 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 and before you know it uh, everyone's working together and everyone's like 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 collaboration and uh, in and uh, competition often lead to great things like Insomniac and Naughty Dog. And back before they were under Sony's umbrella, uh, like they sent uh, stuff back and forth to each other. It's just like, oh, Jack and Daxter looks like. And somebody's like, oh, Jack and Daxter looks cool. Have you ever thought about trying this? And then uh, Night Dog's like, oh, dang, man, that's an awesome idea. By the way, Ratchet and Clank looks really cool. Have you all tried this? And then both companies like built each other up together. And I think that's what we'll have here. At least I'm hoping. 
But what a hell of a season. Like this was this was a great season. I I don't know what's going to happen next, which it which I'm excited about. I there's so many possibilities. Uh all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for now. This was My Hero Academia season 4 episode 25, the finale of season 4. Are y'all excited for season 5? I know I am. I can't wait for it to come out whenever it does come out. Bet your bottom dollar will be there to will be there to enjoy it with y'all. So, I guess until next time, signing off. I'm Nate, Micah. I'm Nick. We'll see you then. Plus Ultra. Plus Ultra.